Alright, so I got everything hooked up and I'm going to go through the setup process for the Wii U. And I got the console on. Now it's asking to turn on the power to the gamepad. Sync button. So I got to enter these. So the gamepad has connected to the Wii console. Gamepad is ready for use. Please look at the gamepad screen. Look at gamepad is ready. Tap the screen to set up the console. Okay, language. English is already preset. United States. Uh, for now, you'll be able to turn off your console using the power button on the Wii U gamepad. Next. Today is the 11. Next. Date and time have been saved. Uh, TV display has been automatically configured with the following settings HDMI 1080p 16 by 9. I don't want to change that, it's perfect. Uh, TV remote setup. I'm probably going to set that up later. I won't do that right now. But you can configure your gamepad to use it as a TV remote, <laughs> which is cool. Uh, for your sensor bar, please configure. I don't have it hooked up yet, so I'm going to do that later. And it wants you to check out the health and safety information. User agreement, yada, yada, yada. Console's internet connection will now be set up. And this gamepad also has a stylus you can use also. But I've been just using my... I'm trying to connect to my router. And it worked. Okay, connect to the internet and update the Wii U console. Checking for updates. I'm not sure if this is just the small update or the 5 gig update, that which I heard you have to download. Downloading data for update. I have a feeling this is the 5 gig up uh, download, which you're not supposed to turn off your console or you'll brick the uh, Wii U, which I do not want to do that. So I'm going to pause my video and then I'm going to fast forward through once this is finished. Alright, so the update finally finished. It took about an hour and 20 minutes on a 15 meg download uh, connection. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought maybe it would take longer, but to restart the uh, console. So I'm going to do that. There it goes. Okay, I am a new user, so I have to register my Nintendo Network ID. Taking a little while to set up. Create a character it's called me. I'm just going to do from scratch. I'm not going to take too much time doing this. But, um, I guess you can always go back and change. So I'm just going to... Registered user me. This gamepad is really comfortable. The screen looks really nice, too. So you can be able to enjoy various online services available on the Wii U. I'm going to do that later. New user has been added. When starting system, select the corresponding meme character and blah, blah, blah. Restrict user's ability to do things, which I don't need to. <laughs> Just going to be me using it. Let's go to the Wii U menu. Okay, so it already presets you for a uh, power down if you don't use the Wii console. You can change that in the settings. Uh, Wii features, Miiverse, Nintendo eShop, internet browser, and now we're at the Wii menu. This is what it looks like on the gamepad. So you got all your little apps. Uh, Wii Maker, system settings, Netflix, which supposed to work now. Uh, YouTube, Amazon, and Hulu Plus, I think, are still are coming in December, I heard. I'm not sure. Uh, Wii Menu, Daily Log, Parental Controls, Health and Safety, Wii U Chat. And then you got your other icons down here. So that was the setup. Uh, let's see if I can switch this. Now what I had on the TV is now on the gamepad. And the screen is really crisp. I don't know if you can, I mean, it might be hard to tell on the camera, but it's a really nice screen. Uh, set up in total, it probably took about an hour and a half. It's kind of long, but that 5 gig update took quite a while. So that's the setup. Uh, I'm going to probably throw in Nintendo Land soon, try that game out.